What's up, little geek man? What if I told- or girl? Anyway, what if I told you that you can make a hundred million units in ten minutes? Would you believe me? Yeah, you nod your head. Yes, you believe me because you just watched my other video that showed you how to make a hundred million using cryo pumps. Uh, but basically, it's not ten minutes. It takes a couple hours to find it. Some people don't even find it, and I feel horrible for them. Uh, but if you find it, you can make a hundred million in ten minutes after you have found the blueprint. Today, though, we're going to be asking another question to you, little kick. Uh, actually, I'm going to ask this person over here. How's it going? You got a weird face and kind of a weird nose thing going on there. So, what if I told you that other people have told me in the comments? Oh, those are your eyes right there. I see them now. Uh, other people have told me that they have made millions faster than I did doing other methods. And uh, what if I told you that I'm going to test those today? Would you believe me? Yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you would. You would believe me. We're going to be testing a bunch of different ways to make money. But basically, we're going to be testing uh, several different ways. We're going to be straight up comparing and essentially making cryo pumps and making fusion accelerant and finding out which one pays more. And I think you're going to be surprised. And not only that, but we're also going to be potentially looking at superconductors if I can find the actual blueprint for that. I've been looking for like six hours. But essentially, the gist of this video is going to be what makes us the most money the quickest and what is the easiest thing to craft, what's most readily available, what's not going to take a long time to do, and what's going to be like the smallest amount to invest. So if you didn't see the other video, basically what we're aiming to do is try to find blueprints. And what we're looking for is fusion accelerant, superconductor, and cryo pump. The last video showed the cryo pump and how to do that. But basically, you have a couple different options. You can ask for direction from NPCs to try to find manufacturing facilities. You can use your signal booster to look for secure navigation uh, frequencies, essentially. So you put in navigation data, you search for sec secure frequencies, you try to find a manufacturing facility. You can also just kind to browse around or you can try to locate nearby objects but the point is we're going to be going to manufacturing facilities we're going to be trying to find blueprints for these specific things and just so you know they do take a long time to find they could take hours you might get lucky and get the rng blessing but a lot of people are having issues finding things but once you find them you're set all right so once we have our blueprint for fusion accelerant we are going to be looking for organic catalysts and nitrogen salt from people who are in the space station basically this is two million it's worth two million and if you look at the cryo pump it's also worth two million so we're going to be seeing what's easier to get and what essentially might cost more in terms of investment we got a lot of ships coming in here so we got to be a little quick here but we're looking for organic and nitrogen salt which are both extremely rare and I also should say you might want to filter by a high economy. And so like when you go into the economy, you want to look and try to find a really high affluent type of economy. And then that way you're going to have an easier time getting all of these different parts that are going to be more rare, probably in other systems. I'm not 100% sure on this, but this is what I've been reading. What other people have told me that we're going to want to be in a high economy so that we can actually find these things relatively easily. And there is another thing too, that somebody left a comment about, uh, basically making quantum processors and that sells for more. But the thing with that is, is that in order to get quantum processors, you have to get a whole bunch of other things that are an even bigger investment and not as easy to come by and so essentially what i would say is if you're going to be trying to go that route maybe start with cryo pumps or start with the fusion accelerant and then move into that when you have more money into to invest because it's quite a lot of money or you could just craft everything uh, but essentially it's pretty in depth but we're going to test all of the money making methods all right here we go with the organic catalyst this is pretty expensive holy smokes we're going to buy 50 of them. That is a lot of money. Wow. Okay. This is quite the investment. We're going to buy 50 of those. And we're going to find out just how much money they make. So uh, that was 22, 25, 25 million, right? All right. So we got it. We got both of what we need. We've, uh, we've made the fusion accelerants. And now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to buy, I bought a bunch of the hot ice and I'm going to be buying the thermic compound as well. And we're going to be testing and seeing just how, you know, how much money we make from both of them. So the total, I think the total investment for this was 25 million, I believe for all these fusion. And this alone was 24. 
and so it costs more, but I wonder if it pays out more. Hot ice and thermic compound um, seem to be a little easier to find. The other thing that I was going to, guys, my math is wrong too. It's because it's 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'm trying to do this for you guys. All right, we got the thermic condensate. Let's go ahead and buy 50 of that as well. Uh, so total investment for this is probably going to be about 26 uh, nope, 27. So 27 for the cryo pump. So it costs a little bit more, it seems. Which seems weird. I would imagine the fusion would cost more. And what I did find, too, is that uh, the superconductors are relatively around the same price as what we're going to get from both of these. And so it's not all too different. It makes me think that there's a cap on like the easy craftable things. Obviously you got to find the blueprints first, but they're pretty easy to craft. You just buy them from NPCs. And so it seems like they're all about the same. And so it makes me think that the economy has like a cap in that regard. And then when you get one layer, one level deeper in crafting, it could potentially be way more with like the quantum processors or something like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just save real fast. Now, somebody was saying that you actually make more money if you go to a trade station instead of going through the terminal here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the total price of what it's going to cost, like what it's going to sell for, what everything's going to sell for, and then we'll go uh, to the surface too. So this is 100 million. 780,000. 100,242,928. It's actually, it costs more to make the cryo pumps, but they sell for more. But it's negligible. And so it's probably actually a better thing to do the fusion, fusion accelerant instead of cryo pumps. So now that we know that, now we need to go to a planet and see how much we can uh, sell them for on a trade platform. All right, we found a trade station, and so we're gonna go and find out how much it's gonna, how much we can sell it for here. Um, I don't see how it's gonna be any different because the, I would imagine that the entire system using the exact same economy, which I think is true. And people are saying, you're gonna flood the economy. Uh, it's system based. It's not like universe wide, as far as I can tell. And so I think you'll be okay. So, um, less actually 96 yeah it's less on the on the trade station so that is not correct now i do wonder if maybe i sell them to other people so 101 it's actually more 998 so we should probably sell this to this guy so it's a little bit more so maybe you selling to people is going to be the better way of doing it so yeah it's a it's definitely definitely varies that's for sure all right there we go somebody's buying it for 102 so we're going to go ahead and just sell it off so we got 300 million so uh it seems like the it seems like they're both very similar in total pricing of uh just like what they're worth and i have to imagine that the superconductor is about the same although i can't say for certain until i actually find the blueprint which I'm not entirely sure it's gonna happen. And so I think I'm pretty sure we did this correctly. Gosh, that's such a mess. I'm pretty sure we did this correctly. We bought 50 of each, uh, 50 of everything. We combined them together to kind of test the full price. And then we went to different places to see how much we can sell them for. I feel like we did this okay. Maybe I'm wrong. It, like I said, it's 2 a.m. in the morning, so it could be wrong, uh, but I think I did it right. But the biggest thing to remember too is that when you're selling it, after you sell it, uh, you get to a certain point, you're gonna wanna switch systems so you don't flood the economy in that system. And I'm pretty sure the economy is like system based. And so, you know, obviously going to a new system, a new planet structure will give you different prices and probably reset them. And so uh, just make sure not to sell too many in one place and that way you can actually make the most money out of it. So currently right now, this guy's selling a cryo pump for 2.41. Uh, this guy that was just behind me was selling the fusion accelerant. He's just leaving was selling it for 2.40 and so in the economy They're very similar and I saw a superconductor that was basically about the same price And so that's what makes me think that the superconductors are relatively the exact same price and these three those three different items are Going to be about the same in total value. It just comes down to what you find easier in terms of from these dealers that you can resell quickly. Uh, I think you find hot ice and thermic condensate 
a lot quicker, especially if you're not in a high economy system. I don't remember seeing organic catalyst and nitrogen salt. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I didn't see it. And so for the superconductors, you know, I, I really don't know. And even the semiconductors about the same price as what you see with some of the other stuff. And so, I mean, it feels like it, it's all very similar. It makes me think, like I said, that for that base like level of crafting, that there is a cap on how much you can make. And then if you go one layer deeper with like having to require like a thing, a circuit board and superconductor for a quantum processor, like one layer deeper is worth more. And somebody said that a, a quantum processor sells for 5.2 million. And so that's a significantly more amount of money uh, than what we're seeing here. So this is 60,000 actually for thermic. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it, it, uh, you guys tell me what do you think and am I wrong about this or do you think it's very similar somebody did comment and left a comment and said that all three are about the same and so I have to agree with I have to think that you know this is a, a common thing and then if you have a way that you legitimately make more money than these three different methods not like you know quantum processors are one thing you're going to layer deeper in terms of crafting but if you know of an easier way to make money quicker please comment it below let people know how you do that so that people can take advantage of it and actually you know make make some easy money in the game but anyway guys i i'm gonna go ahead and call for the video right there because i feel like my testing is pretty good uh, overall i mean it might be off a little bit or whatever but i feel like i did i did it okay somewhat and uh, we kind of got the base idea of fusion accelerant and cryo pumps i mean even the total value itself right here tells you that they're very similar it just comes down to what's uh, easier to find what's more of an investment and if both you know all the components are easier is just as easy to find in certain uh, systems then you know i would say that i think would we decide the cryo pump only sells for like a million more but it costs more to invest so making fusion accelerant is going to give you more money essentially um like i said i can't test superconductor i would love to be able to do that but you know just semiconductor alone looks like it takes more money but you could craft everything you know what i mean so you could craft everything yourself and probably make more money overall but really we're going for what makes money the fastest and so uh it seems like you got a lot of different options here so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video i hope you uh i hope this video helps you out and you guys can make some easy money like i said you got to find the blueprint first but once you find that i mean you're set and good to go so guys thank you so much for watching have a great day stay positive be blessed catch you guys next time